This simple easy trick does not replace proper care for your spine, however it is appropriate for most people who want to relieve head, neck, and shoulder discomfort, especially if they don't want to pop a pill. This is all about how you support the spine. When we are sitting, working, driving, watching TV, typing on the computer, or reading, we all have a tendency to let the head drop and increase the tension in the shoulders. We all do this, and we see this problem in people who work on their computer, are gaming, or are texting often. If you do something over and over, and especially for extended periods of time, your body gets good at it, and some people are perfectly adapted for looking at their feet. This pulls the muscles in the neck which can often cause tension which starts in the neck or the base of the skull and can move up and over the head to the eyes also down the back and even into the shoulders over time this can make us very uncomfortable even if our spines are healthy and especially if they're not so after every thirty minutes or so of sitting it's a good idea to get up look up move around and walk around just for two to three minutes and then return to what you're doing that is a good habit that can keep your whole spine out of pain. However, sometimes when we get up and move around, we lift our heads up again, but many people's heads are still far in front of the shoulders, and they may never regain the curve that they've lost. Many people have lost the normal curve in their necks. This is a five-year-old, and you can see the curve is perfect. And that makes sense because we gain our curve as an infant when we start lifting our head up off the ground to start looking around. After this, after the curve is established, we must protect our necks to keep our curves. If we lose our curve, or even have a reversal of the curve, this stretches the muscles. It wears out our discs and joints and can cause spinal degeneration. And during this process, we can feel pain and discomfort in our necks, head, and shoulders. I'm going to tell you that this method for relieving tension in the neck, head, and shoulders works much better if you're under upper cervical care and your nerves are balanced but it works for most everybody and if you're not under care you may just not get the full benefit but it's still a good idea to try try a safe and gentle traction of the neck at least one time a day up to four times a day just for five minutes and no more than ten minutes this is something that's free and easy that you can do at home and you may even be able to do this at school or work lunchtime and right when you get home are great times to try you're not going to take a nap but you are going to lay down on your back, so set a timer if you think you're going to fall asleep. When most people lay down, they support their head with a pillow, but that just pushes the head forward. Instead, we want to support the neck. So you can use a bath towel or a big roll of paper towels or a cervical support pillow and place it under the neck as you lay on your back. This will reinforce the natural curve in your neck. Gravity will provide a gentle traction to take the pressure off the discs and the nerves. As the head and the neck relax, the muscles begin to loosen up. Take full and relaxed breaths, breathing in and exhaling all the way. Most people feel relief within a few minutes. And don't turn this into a nap, because the next step is to get up and return to your activity, being aware of your posture. Anytime you notice the tension is returning, lift your head up and roll your shoulders back. Over time, you will notice that using cervical support becomes more effective. And for nighttime, you should look into getting a cervical support pillow to reinforce the natural spinal curve each night as you sleep. Now, some people may notice an increase in neck stiffness, and this is most common in people who have lost their curve or who have had a reversal of the curve. If this is the case, then use less reinforcement under the neck and spend less time doing this. Then gradually increase the amount of support and the time. And like a new pair of shoes, doing this over time, your spine should get used to this and the natural curve that you're supposed to have should start to come back. However, if you do notice increased pain or discomfort, then stop and make sure you see a doctor. And you have options including seeing a spine and nerve expert. Remember that pain and headaches are warning signs, so if you lay down and support the spine and you do not feel any improvement, this may mean that you have more problems that are more severe than postural imbalances and muscle tension, and you may need to see a doctor.